Hi guys, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video, topic 6.11, Hydrogen Fuel Cells. So the way fuel cells work is they're pretty simple. They um, have hydrogen and oxygen, so that's going to be H2, right? Um, and then you're also going to have O2. And so these two compounds of H2 and O2, um, they're going to be used um, to produce energy in, uh, as electricity and then they're also going to have a byproduct of water. So that tends to be a benefit to them. So let's see how these how they work. So the way this works is you're going to have a diagram. Uh, in this diagram, you're going to have it. Um, you tend to have a membrane of some sort, right? And in that membrane, you're going to have an anode, which is a negatively charged um, uh, particle, and then a cathode, which is the positive one. And what you're going to do is you're going to um, allow for hydrogen and oxygen to be pushed in there and in that membrane, you're going to form, so that's O2 over here, and that's H2 over here, and these are going to form H2O, okay? And the formation of this water is going to be releasing electricity, and that can be used to run a vehicle or some other uh, piece of technology that you'd like. Typically, when we talk about hydrogen fuel cells, we talk about them in terms of uh, vehicles and things like that, okay? And so one of the effects that we're going to see from these uh, fuel cells, there are several of them. Okay, you're going to have a low impact because you're not going to be producing any carbon dioxide or air pollutants. Um, you're really just going to be producing the water and the electricity. Um, and all you're using is hydrogen and the oxygen in the air. The downsides are that the technology to make this is very expensive. And there have been questions about whether or not it's fully safe to have hydrogen or oxygen in a vehicle uh, moving around. So there's some questions about that. Um, and then also the idea is that the energy um, that you need, you end up having to use energy to create the hydrogen gas for, for the fuel cells. So you have to put energy more in than you would really want to. So there's some question about whether the benefits will really outweigh the, uh, the downsides. So here's some other resources you can learn uh, about uh, hydrogen fuel cells. And uh, hopefully this is helpful and uh, hopefully that was helpful. Thank you.